We are here to march for clean water in our seas and rivers. Everyone has a right to clean water, everyone has a right to enjoy their solutions and nature doesn't deserve what we've been doing for it. When you walk down to the sea and you can smell uh, the sewage and you're just heartbreaking when you see the beauty of nature there coupled with human waste just being pumped all over it. I don't want any more poo in the water. Thanks, other water. I live in Brighton, as does Sarah. Both Brighton parents, both disgusted at the water quality, the sea quality in Brighton and in the rivers that feed into it. We've got three kids who were always in the water or were always in the water. And now we find ourselves here fighting to keep that water clean for them to enjoy and the wildlife around it. I love the sea, I love being in it, and I'm very lucky to have seen a lot of the wildlife that uses it, you know, swimming, and diving. I really want to speak up, speak up for that wildlife that you know, is so important. What do we want? Green rivers! When do we want them? Now! What do we want? Green rivers! When do we want them? Now! We need to change, we're passionate for change, and I'm very hopeful that this message is gonna get home to the government. They need to put reforms in place. They need to manage properly uh, the regulating boards to make sure that they hold the water companies to account and just to make sure that they do their job and stop putting the uh, sewage in the sea. I swim in the sea. One of my children is a surf lifesaver. Uh, he's in the water, training to be a lifeguard every single week and he's been sick. The damage we've done can be undone and just making sure that for the future our children and the next generation and the next generation can have a world that's clean and safe and that allows nature to thrive. Please help me build a small boat, one ride on the floor, where the river runs deep and the large fish creeps. I'm glad what keeps me afloat. Sustains me without even trying.